Hi guys, it's me, the Kurgon. In our today's video, we will talk about solving quadratic equations using quadratic formula. So without further ado, let's do this topic. This topic is an alternative method on how to solve quadratic equations. We have distracting the square roots, completing the square, and factoring. And kapag hindi nag-work yung my equations na yun, you can use the quadratic formula to solve quadratic equations. Now, what we have here is 2x squared minus 4x minus 30 is equal to 0. And we will solve this using the formula x is equal to negative b, positive negative square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. What you need to secure here is first, you need to express your equation in standard form. And then eventually, you can get the values of a, b, and C. Kasi ito yung kailangan natin to use this formula. In this equation, what is the value of A? The value of A is 2. The value of B is not 4. That is negative 4. The value of C is negative 30. Now, after identifying or determining the values of A, B, and C, we can use the formula. You have here X is equal to negative. Your B is negative also. So you can enclose it by parentheses. You have negative 4. Then you have positive negative. Then after that, square root of B square. This is negative 4, guys. You have to enclose it by parentheses, negative 4. Raise to the second power. And then extend that into. You have 4 in your formula, minus 4. And then guys, for a and c and 4, you need to express it as in multiplication. Your a is 2, so 4 times 2 times your c is negative 30. Over 2 times your a is 2. Now, Ito yung mag nagiging problema ng mga bata or students in grade 9. Yung part na may radical. So, unti-unti natin yung solution natin hanggang makuha natin yung tama sagot. In this case, you have your x is equal to negative times negative is positive. So, it will become 4. Then you have your positive, negative. Let's simplify the radical part. Negative 4 squared is 16. Then, this one negative 4 times 2 times negative 30. By 2 muna tayo. You have negative 4 times 2. That is negative 8. So you have negative 8. Then you will multiply negative 8 again. This negative 8, it came from the product of negative 4 and 2. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. Then you will multiply it, this negative 8, by negative 30. Negative times negative is positive, so this is plus. Then you have 8 times 30. Again, 8 times 30, that is 240. Over. 2 times 2, which is equal to 4. Ito ba magkamali kayo dito? We, can, we cannot cancel out 4. Hindi pwede yan. Ang gagawin natin dito next is, we need to simplify this radical. 16 plus... 240, that is 256. So what we have now is x is equal to 4, positive, negative, square root of 256 over 4. And this square root of 256, this number is a perfect square. We can extract it. The square root of 256 is 16. So what we have here is x is equal to 4. Positive, negative, 16 over 4. When you are done simplifying the radical part, we can now solve for the values of x. Let's go here. Let's use this space. Let's start with x sub 1. For the x sub 1, we will use 4. Then, this is positive, negative. Positive muna. We have plus 16 over 4. Simplify this part, you have 4 plus 16, which is 20, 
over 4 and 20 divided by 4, that is equal to 5. And as you can see, this is the first solution of the given equation. The value of x is 5. Now let's go with the x sub 2, or the second root, x sub 2. For the x sub 2, you have 4, and we are done using the positive 16 or plus 16, Ngayon naman is minus 16 over 4. Simplify, 4 minus 16, you have your negative 12 over 4. Then divide this, negative 12 divided by 4 is negative 3. So as you can see, this is now the second value of x. We have x is equal to negative 3. Now, for this given equation, the solutions are 5 and negative 3. Now, guys, I hope you learned something from this video on how to use the quadratic formula in solving quadratic equations. Now, if you're new to my page or channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe, but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!